I was 13 years old and one day I went to the bathroom to ease myself and I saw blood coming out of my VV. I was so alarmed and I rushed out, went straight to my mom and I was like, am I going to die? Blood is coming out of my body. Am I sick? Am I going to die? She looked at me. She didn't say anything. So she called my elder sister and told her to take care of me. My elder sister came, took me to the bathroom, gave me a sanitary towel and told me to wear it, gave me instruction. I was still asking this question, what's happening to me? What now? What now? She too didn't have anything to say to me. Or maybe she was shy or something. She didn't quite tell me much. She just told me, wear this one. After some time, come back, she just told me one or two things. So I came out of the bathroom, went back to my mom and I sat with her. I was, I was still asking her, what's happening to me? Am I going to die? What is it? Am I sick? My mom was a tailor, so there's this tape she usually have dangling down from her neck. So she pulled out the tape from her neck, kept it on the table, and then she faced me, looking at me straight into my eyes and she spoke in Igbo language. She says, Igbo <sighs> Let me interpret that. What she said was, I am now a woman. If a man touches me like this, I'm going to get pregnant. And if I bring unwanted pregnancy to her house, she's going to chase me out of the house. Hey. Okay. So I was trying to process the whole thing. Me that was thinking I was going to die that minute. And now hearing that if man touched me like this, I will carry Berlin, they go push me. You know, a whole lot was just, the information was just a lot for me to process at that time. So, but at least I had one piece because I knew that, okay, I wasn't going to die that time, right? <laughs> so, but then I still had questions. Like, I didn't say anything again. As soon as she said that to me, she turned back, carried her tape, and continued to sew her cloth, chuku chuku chuku, the way she did swam. Now, is that the best sex education I could actually get? Absolutely no. But was she wrong in saying it to me like that? I wouldn't say she was wrong because I think that <laughs> that was maybe the best way she could tell me and maybe she had to put that kind of fear in me so that I could stay clear of boys and don't disgrace her and don't do all of those things. Now, did it work? It worked. It worked because almost if I had fence that time, after that teaching I got, the fence became like times two. <laughs> I know they smile for boys. I know they follow boys. They play. If you see me walking on the street, straight face, I'm going to where I'm going to. I know they smile. Low. If a boy is coming towards me and he's trying to do all of those talk, I know they even they look. Low. I already have an automated answer. I am not interested. And once I say I'm not interested, hola, I don't go at the front. <laughs> because ah, you won't come give me but let me then push me for house. No, I don't go. And then it's not like we had access to internet where you can browse, check for information, all of these things. And that was how I continued to throughout my secondary school days. Yee, me, boyfriend care. I know what they call boyfriend. <laughs> the reason why I said it worked to some extent is because when I went to school and for the very first time I was free i could go out and come back no supervision you know like when you go to school for the very first time that teaching that fear in my mind kept pulling me back and it helped me oh, there are so many times that my mother's voice practically called me back and you know kept me intact i said all of that to say that there are sex talks we need to have in our individual homes like you know our times are different this time around, don't be now you go tell small pickings, say, if man touch you like this, you can't even let you do this one. Now it's the internet age. Informations are out there. If you do not tell them, the society will tell them. And it might not be something that would help them. Because in as much as I believe that my mom wasn't wrong in the way she educated me about sex, comparing it to this present time, it might not have worked. Because now is the internet age. Children are exposed to a lot of information on the internet. Their phones are internet enabled. Most phones right now are internet enabled. And they can easily get these information out there from peer groups, from TV, from, you know, just name it. So I think it's better that your child learns about sex from you rather than learning it from outside you know sometimes even till today i still wonder what kind of sex education my brothers got from my mom or maybe from my dad i have more brothers and i'll be thinking did they get any education at all how did she say it to them <laughs> you know all of those thoughts will be flying in my head sometimes i would just ah. In my house, then when we're growing up we cannot talk about sex nobody talks about it it's more like a taboo 
almost like a sin because my mom was a very spiritual person like you know spiritual things now it was always you know we read the bible we do praise and worship she was a very good mom she would teach us god's words she would pray for us she was always there for us she could do anything for us and i feel so blessed to have come through her to this world okay but then the reality in this present time is that sex needs to be talked about because children now are not their level of curiosity is not the same as my own level of curiosity then i didn't have the resources or whatever to continue to make research and to find the answers i needed at that time eventually when i grew up i became older of course i was exposed to materials to some things and i was able to learn the things that i needed to learn and then of course i now know that uh, nobody said man touch you like this you could carry belly of course there has to be intercourse before pregnancy go enter right my daughter is almost six years old and i hope that one day when she's nine or ten i'll sit her down and i'll teach her about sex tell her that okay this is your vp this is this this is this. you know just practical because if i fail to teach her the society is there to teach her even the cartoons they watch these days sometimes you see cartoons telling romantic stories like okay the prince wants to get married you know, has a princess, he's in love, you know, they, they're learning these things, they're very sharp, their brain is sharper than ours. So it's very important that we talk about sex at home. Let it not be a topic that is almost as if it's forbidden, people should not talk about it. I have seen homes where they don't mind saying these things. In fact, they are so free, their parents are so free with the children when it comes to subject like that in my own case it's not like our parents was not free with us my mom was free with us i could tell her anything but when it comes to sexual matters like it's not something that i've seen being discussed in the house so i can't even bring it up so even when i'm like maybe experiencing one or two things i can't even tell her anything because there's always this wall against the topic. Nobody is talking about it. So, you know, that kind of thing. So you're forced to look for information out there. You're forced to try and read books, learn one or two things, ask your friends, or surf the internet if you have access to, okay? Even when I met my boyfriend then, who is now my husband, and he got to know certain things about me, he was so surprised. And in his own words, he said, ah, you seem so exposed. I'm surprised that you don't know this thing. You don't know this. Because there were a lot of things I did not know. I didn't look it like you know i was always sharp i know things head knowledge i read about things but when it comes to practical aspects i had no knowledge whatsoever so my mother's teaching kept me <laughs> kept me intact it might be the best for me maybe at that time because things were happening around us like people teenagers were getting pregnant giving birth to children and you know none of those things happened in my own family in fact my family is one of the families that in my community then they were using us like you know a good example you know why can't you be like so and so children and you see the way they behave you see the way they do their things because of the way our parents like kind of held us together okay but then the point of this video is that that cannot be applicable in this present time because times have changed that could have worked like perfectly well then but right now you know go cut them like you need to do more you need to be more practical you need to tell them more let them hear from you firsthand because whether we like it or not children see their parents as like demigods or maybe gods okay whatever you say kind of stays with them it's so surprising how you grow up you become an adult you experience life and you're still experiencing life but some things that you've been told as a child like still lingers still rings in your head from time to time have you thought about that it means that at that young age there's a possibility for you to like teach them something that will stay with them for life okay so it's very important that they hear these things from us Alright, so this is it. Please let me know your experience. How did you get to learn about sex? <laughs> let me know your experience in the comments. Feel free to share. Let's learn from each other. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill. I appreciate you for clicking and stopping by. And of course, for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And for those who wished me a happy birthday yesterday, thank you so much. For those who reached out to me, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.